Could you honestly say that your personal goal is to please Christ? See, that's a really important question. If you have a worldly perspective, you are more than likely seeking to please yourself. When you get a deeper and deeper eternal perspective, you make it a greater desire by nature to please him. I don't want to dishonor him. Now, there are different aspects of that because displeasing God, if I'm involved in sin, something that's outside of his will, then surely it's not pleasing to him. There's that aspect of needing to repent. But then there's the other aspect of the things that he sets before me that he wants me to do, that he's going to do through me if I just am willing, that I'm, it's pleasing to him when I say, yes, Lord, I'm willing, let's do it. But you see, part of this statement about we make it our goal to please him is a question about is there anything in your life right now that is not pleasing to God? I mean, every single one of us should sift our lives. And it may not be that you're involved in any sinful undertaking or something of that nature. It may just be that you're spending a lot of time in things that don't matter. Wasting your time in some, let's say, entertainment or hobby that doesn't bless any person, doesn't serve the Lord, just consumes your time. And you see, if you want to make it your goal to please him, it's continuous. It's not the false idea of I please God by going to church and doing a few other religious activities. It's not that. It's that I live with him continuously, and day in and day out, I want to please him. In everything, every, every place I go, whatever I say, whatever I do, 